In this video, we will take a look at insertions into the middle of a linked list, particularly inserting before a pre-existing element in a linked list. So I'm going to give an example on one side and write the code on the other. So let's start by defining the function. It's an insert operation, so it is not going to return anything. This function is going to be called insert before. The element I want to add to the linked list is going to be represented by el underscore add. And the pre-existing element in the linked list before which we want to perform the addition is going to be stored in el underscore pre. So now we have defined the function. Let's look at a few cases which we can encounter. The first case is going to be that the pre-existing element that has been given to the function is not found in the list. So if this pre-existing element is not found in the list, the function does not know before which node we must perform the addition. So we want to stop the, func the continuation of the function right there. So first what we must do is we must search for this pre-existing element. We have already taken a look at how to write a search function for a linked list, but in short what this search function is going to do is it's going to search for the element given in the parameter and it will return that node which stores that particular element. If such a node is not found then it will return a null value. So the first thing we do is we call the search function and store the result in a node variable which we call a. Now we could call this anything. For now let me call this c because it will help your understanding in the further steps. So I'm going to store the result of the search function in a node variable which I am calling c. This could be any name but I'm just going to name it c for now. Now that I have the result of the search function, I need to check whether this element was actually found. So I'm going to check if c is equal to null, this means that the pre-existing element was not found. In this case what must I do? I don't want to continue with my function so I'm going to say return. It's very simple. So if I don't know which element before which I need to insert, I don't want to continue with my function and I return. Now let's look at the other cases. The next case which we will see is if the pre-existing element is the first element. So let's take an example of this. So in this case, I have a linked list with a start and an end. Let us say that our pre-existing element is 1. In this case, the node which we get, which holds 1, is equal to the start. So C is equal to the start. So if my pre-existing element happens to be 1, the node which I will get when we search for it is going to be the starting node. 
Now, if we want to insert before the starting element, we not only have to change the pointers of the two nodes, but instead we also have to change the starting node. So if I insert some element here, then it is not only that the links need to be made between the two elements, but also the start cannot be the second node. The start has to update to the new start because there is something going to be added before the already existing start. So the start needs to be updated as well. This is why we consider this a special case. So now, as you can see, inserting before the starting element is very similar to inserting to the front of a linked list or inserting to the beginning of the linked list. So when the node C is going to be our start and we want to insert before the start, it is exactly the same as the function we have written before, which is insert BEG or insert to the beginning of a linked list. So we can call that function in this case. So let us see how we are going to write the code for it. So if C is equal to the starting element, then element pre is the first element. So what must we do now? We are going to call the function insert beg which we have already written earlier and we will give as the parameter that element that we would wish to add in the linked list. Once we have done this, our work is over. We have inserted the element and now we are going to return. Now we have solved the second case. Let's look at what our third case will be. The third case is when the insertions actually happen in the middle of a list. So this is the case we are actually very interested in because this is the only case in which the insertion is actually happening in the middle. So let's see how we are going to do this. Let's say that this is a pre-existing list and I want to insert after the element 1 or rather I want to insert before the element 2. So our element pre is going to be basically I want to add between this 1 and 2. So insert before the element which stores 2. So the first thing I am going to do is I am going to create an element I'm going to create a node for the element I want to add. Let us say that the element we want to add is equal to 3. Now I'm going to give an arbitrary memory address and the next and previous pointers will currently point to null. So what am I doing? I am creating a node with the data being the element I want to add to the list. So let me write that here. I'm going to name that node B. So now we have this node at which we found the pre-existing element as node C. I have the node which I have just made as node B. The next step is let us name this node as node A. So what am I doing? I am going to rename c.previous which points here. I am going to rename c.previous to a.
Now we have named all the nodes. The next thing we must take care of are these pointers. So let's take care of the first link from A to B. Now I want B to succeed A. That means I want A dot next to point to B. So what will I do? I will remove 200 from A dot next and I will put the value of B. This means that this arrow has been cut and I am going to make this link. So I am doing A dot next is equal to B. Now if I want A to succeed B, in turn I want, sorry, if I want B to succeed A, in turn I want A to precede B. This means if a if B is going to succeed A, then I want B dot previous to equal to A. That is, I want A to precede B as well. So I am going to remove null from B dot previous and put the value of A, getting an arrow or a link like this. So I am going to do B dot previous is equal to A. Now, this link has been made between A and B. I'm writing these two statements on the same line because I consider it the same link between A and B. You can write them on different li lines, but it doesn't make a difference because we are adding a semicolon in the middle. Now let's look at the links between B and C. I want C to succeed B. So what I will do is I want B dot next to equal to C, thereby creating a link which looks like this. So, I want B dot next equal to C. Once I have B dot next equal to C, in turn, I want C dot previous to equal to B. So, instead of having this arrow, I will have the value of B in C dot previous. So that I can create a link which goes back to B. So, C dot previous is equal to B. In this way, we can make the updated links of the three nodes and with this, we have inserted an element in the middle of the linked list. With this, our work is done and we can end our function.